with Rajan Pablo. This is Talk of the Town on b for You. Now we're joined by a very, very special guest, um, a musical talent known as Manish and also DJ X Fader. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you very much for having me and thank you, B4U, for all the support. We've been wanting to speak to you for such a long time. We love b Um It's from your album, uh, Jeevan. Tell us about how the album came about. Well, yes. Uh, basically, the, the concept of the album is commercial fusion. Um, Asian sounds, Arabian sounds, and, and obviously urban sounds. And as a DJ, I've, I've always uh, represented that, uh, even back in the day when I used to take out the Jarnam promotional mix CDs. Um, I've always been a commercial fusion guy. I, I'm not only a Bangra DJ or only a Bollywood DJ. So that's what uh, is showcased in the album. And Bakerbird, the first track, uh, is a fusion of Bollywood, uh, Arabian, and electro breakbeat sounds. So what does Bakerbird mean? Bakerbird means, okay, actually, literally, it means um, clueless. <laughs> uh -huh. So in the song, uh, the girl is saying that she loves this guy, uh -huh. uh, maybe a DJ or whoever. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah, and, and she, she's just saying that uh, this guy is clueless, that I'm you know, dying uh -huh. for him, and um, that was the twist of the whole song. But it's, somebody was telling us that Bekabur is the same meaning in lots of languages? Yes, that was the concept. Uh, because it was commercial fusion, I didn't just want to uh, have a few Arabian bits in it right. and then you know, call it fusion. Uh, I took the effort of finding an Arabian singer from Syria, uh, oh. May Khalil. She, she's based in London, but she's originally from Syria, and I wanted the Arabian lyrics to come through as well, so that it's proper fusion. So, Manish, in terms of fusion, you have to be open to, like, a lot of different musical influences. What kind of stuff did you grow up with? Well, I, I used to listen to everything, really, uh, everything from Michael Jackson to, uh, right now, Mr. recently, Mr. A.R. Rahman, and a lot of Asian underground stuff, Kash Kale, Talvin Singh, Nitin Sani, and obviously, being a commercial DJ, uh, everything from house music to Bollywood sounds to uh, Bhangra music. So, is this your first release? 
Yes, this is my first release as and a producer, yes. How long did it take? You know, when did you come up with the idea? What's the process? Ah, oh, it took ages, to be honest, because every time I, I was in the studio really concentrating, uh, an event would come up and I had to go to India for some events. Um, but it did take also time because I, I like to work with the singers. Uh, I've, I've used all new and upcoming artists. Uh -huh. So it's, it's obviously good to work with them in the studio not just um, tell them to do the composition and then you're just and making the beats. Did you find it hard to find the talent or is there a lot of talent out there? To be honest, I feel blessed uh, because of events. You meet so many singers and especially in, in, in Delhi and in Bombay now, uh, when there are events with the DJ, they'll have a live singer. Right. So many of the singers I met through events really and truly. And uh, there's so much of new and upcoming talent out there and I, I just think they should be showcased.